Hey guys, so I took a break from looking at jailbreaks, but I recently found 15 new jailbreaks that I really like and I would like to share these with you guys. And as you can see, I am rocking a new theme and I'll do a separate video on that. This first one is roundification and what this does is it rounds your notifications to look similar to the ones on iOS 10 and I like it. It makes it look more simple and I like simple. To change up your screenshots to look like that or like others, choose new Nimrov. Nimrov, as I just said, this can change your screenshots to have different effects like let's do shrink or Kahanda. As you can see, there are multiple ones that you can choose from. I personally just like Checkerboard. This tweak has some inspiration from the Galaxy S6 Edge and S7 Edge, and this is called Edge. And this adds People Edge and Apps Edge to the iPhone. All you have to do is just swipe from the right and there you go. Sometimes it can get a little bit annoying because you know you're in the home screen and you just want to flip to the next page, but instead you open up edge. Other than that, it's handy to get to things faster. This is volume percentage and as you can see it has added a little percentage to your volume. There's also a setting where it takes out the little bell symbol and the squares and it only has a percentage and I prefer that because then it's just more simple to look at and it's smaller. I've always wondered why Apple never added this feature but this is app ETA and as you can see I now have a percentage when I'm downloading an app and it's pretty handy unlike that spiral that you have to watch go all the way that's not really handy at all but this helps me to feel like it's going a little bit faster instead of having to guess how long I have to wait until it's done this is priority hub and this organizes all of your notifications so all of your messages will be in one area and if you have like snapchat then it'll be on the column next to the messages so it just makes things a little bit more organized for you pro Twitter users out there, there is Tweet Analytics, and this tells you how well your tweet is doing, how many impressions it has, the uh, engagements, all that stuff in one place right here. This is Swipe Home, and what this does is when you swipe up, all the apps that are running will close. Now my phone for some reason crashed when I did this, but this should work for all other phones. My phone is just weird. This is Reach the Nyan Cat, and this takes away that boring nothingness above your phone when you do reachability, and it adds Nyan Cat. Thankfully, there's no music, so you won't be annoyed. This is Switcher Badges, and what this does is it adds the little notification badges to your app that is in the Switcher. This is Cache Clearer, and what this does is instead of your phone just telling you how much an app is taking space, you can actually delete some things inside of it, like for example, you can delete all sorts of caches. And excuse me if I mispronounced cache. This is swipe to delete contact, and I've actually found this a little bit useful uh, the times when I do have to delete contacts that I don't use anymore. This is proximity lock, and what this does is when you wave your hand in front of your front facing camera, it will turn off the phone. Now I'm not sure why it doesn't turn it on when you wave it. There was another jailbreak I believe that did that, or that was just on my Android phone. And I hope that there's more air gestures like this that come to jailbreaking. This is unlock vol, and as you can see, now it adds the volume to the lock screen, so now it works. This is eye cleaner, and what this does is it cleans out all of that useless space that is slowing down your iPhone, and it speeds it up a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. I can't believe that the year is almost ending. It felt like it still just began, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.